Hi there and uh, welcome back to the Floss Marketing School. Uh, this video is really for educational purposes only. Please do not uh, replicate the example I'm going to show you uh, today because that's kind of attacks which are used by hackers. So uh, email spoofing refer to what you're going to see on this uh, given envelope. It's about customizing the name of the sender and of course not using the the official name or at least the real name or let's say faking uh, someone that uh, you are not so i could definitely send this envelope to anyone on earth uh, and just put whatever i want over here not my first uh, full name and family name address but the one of something uh, someone else and the person will receive this given envelope will think that actually i'm the person which i will write uh, over here and this is exactly the same thing that you can apply to email and we're going to see uh, how attackers are using uh, these techniques um, so actually this uh, video that i'm showing you right now is uh, an echo of uh, the phishing techniques because of course if an attacker is using phishing in plus of um, let's say mail spoofing i chances that it's going to work so in order um, to perform uh, spoofing what people are doing what attackers are doing they are using script uh, such as this one PHP scripts so of course uh, they need um, um, a server which run on PHP which at least has programming language PHP installed on it and uh, they execute the given script where they insert here uh, the email address to which they would like to send the email to here they put the subject here they put the body and here uh, they put the information about who is sending the given email. So what I'm going to do is, uh, as it's an echo to the previous video that I was uh, showing over here, which was explaining how uh, phishing could be made for a fake company named Netflix, uh, which of course is kind of an echo to uh, Netflix. Um, I'm going to use the kind of same uh, example. So what I did here is I just copy and paste the script that I was showing you before. And I'm going to send an email to contact at flossmarketingschool.com in which I'm going to put a subject which is get your five euro voucher. And then I put in the body uh, the information uh, that I want to send. Okay. And in addition to that, I'm using an email address that I do not own at all. I don't own the domain name Netflix. I could of course use Netflix, it will arrive the same way in the mailbox and I'm using no reply at netflix.com because as you can imagine by doing spoofing as you do not have an access to this given email address if someone is going to answer you of course uh, you will never receive uh, the message because there's no possibility to get it so that's why by using uh, an email address such as this one of course attackers are kind of uh, faking it even better because it means that uh, through the message that they have here uh, they are kind of uh, pushing you to do exactly uh, the thing that uh, they expect you to do here because they are not offering let's say possibilities for you to answer them or at least they are giving you the information that they don't want to get any answer for you because they cannot they cannot answer so once the script is created um, all they need to do is actually to fire it so in my case i just need to go on my domain name on which i set this given file which is um, slash mail so in my case it would be like this would be slash mail and i can i can show you so this is my uh, this is the mailbox that i have okay this is the one that contact at floss marketing school to which i would like to send the message to and if i fire this uh, given page so uh, probably I did something wrong. What did I did? Okay, so it's uh, yes. I'm just gonna copy that. Um, and okay, so that's because I'm not able to write a folder properly. Okay, um, and so the script now is is fired, and as a result, if I look through the given email. Um, so it may take some time actually to reach the given uh, the given mailbox. So contact plusmarketingschool.com. This one is a good one. So just to let you know that um, there are some chances that uh, the email may not reach the mailbox of the people they want to send the message to because, um, and of course you have some some additional security. But here, as you can see, just to bit of time to come and as you can see i got the email from uh, netflix.com uh, get your five euro voucher and I, I get exactly the message with 
the email coming from someone uh, that's I mean coming from a domain name that I do not even own so that's why it's a very uh, dangerous technique because if the message is is really well written um, well of course it has high chances to to succeed so um, just have really attention uh, be very careful for every message that you received if they look suspicious then it's suspicious then apply uh, the security guideline that I gave within the uh, explaining the, the phishing method because here through the message that they have probably they are trying uh, asking you to do something that you don't want to do uh, and uh, look through the different links and domain names without clicking on them and like this you will know if they are redirecting you to uh, an official uh, domain name or not or if it's a trap but just to let you know that um, spoofing plus phishing is really um, is very dangerous if it's if it's well done and it's as easy as it, it looks like uh, in order to a uh, fake uh, given a sender mail address hope you understood a little bit more what is a uh, phishing and hope it will help you uh, let's say uh, discover um, how to avoid actually uh, that kind of uh, attacks thanks for watching